Arriving at Tel Aviv Airport, the US Secretary of State is visiting at a time of high tension, but with few expectations US diplomacy can do anything to help. He spoke about recent violence. To take an innocent life in an act of terrorism is always a heinous crime. But to target people outside their place of worship is especially shocking. A reference to the death of seven Israelis near a synagogue at an East Jerusalem settlement on Thursday. It's notable he spoke about incidents in which Israelis died but didn't mention the raid at Janine refugee camp last Thursday, a day on which 10 Palestinians were killed. Before Secretary Blinken got here, there was another death, a Palestinian man shot dead by Israeli forces as he drove his car in the city of Hebron. Mr Blinken has met Benjamin Netanyahu many times before, but this is the first meeting since he became head of Israel's most right-wing government ever. The Secretary of State said there must be a future where Israelis and Palestinians can live peacefully side by side. We continue to believe that the best way to achieve it is through preserving and then realizing the vision of two states. As I said to the Prime Minister, anything that moves us away from that vision is, in our judgment, detrimental to Israel's long-term security and its long-term identity as a Jewish and democratic state. But the reality is that Mr Netanyahu and his key ministers don't support the idea of a two-state solution. He didn't mention Palestinians once and instead focused on the threat from Iran. Most of the international community have seen the true face of Iran. They've seen the barbarism of this regime against its own people. They've seen how it exports aggression uh, beyond its border and beyond the Middle East. Uh, and I think there is a common consensus that this regime must not acquire nuclear weapons. Secretary Blinken will continue his meetings with Israeli officials on Tuesday. He'll also make a brief visit to Ramallah to meet with the president of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas. Many in the international community would like the Biden administration to take a more proactive diplomatic role in this conflict, but so far there's no sign of a change in the U.S. position. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem.